What's going on guys, Big Mike, the 717 all back here today. We have a range day tech. We did a review, or, or not a review, we did a video already on properly cleaning a semi-automatic pistol. Now, we're gonna go ahead and check out revolvers. Revolvers are a lot easier to clean, uh, a little bit less mechanism, uh, because they don't really break down as much. But anyway, go ahead and show you the basic tools that you need to clean a revolver, and then we are going to actually tear into cleaning my uh, Charter Arms 357 mag because uh, she's a little overdue. But anyway, let's check it out. All right, guys. Well, first, looking at your tools, you have your cleaning rod, you have your brass or bronze brush, bore brush, you have your bore mop, you have your patch holder, your Q-tips, which make it nice to clean small nooks and crannies on a revolver because there are some small places. We have a good nylon brush. We have our REM oil, which is just a lubricating oil. We have Hops, good old number nine cleaning solvent. And of course, a decent LED flashlight. All right guys, let's tear into this revolver. All right guys, just as a quick overview, just in case you're here to check out the video real quick, real prompt. So make sure the weapon is clear. What you're gonna wanna do, start with the barrel and the cylinder. Those are your two major areas that are gonna acquire uh, most of the grime but what you're going to do start with your cleaning rod and a good bore brush go ahead run the bore brush through your barrel and through your cylinder and then once you've done that a time or two to break up any carbon buildup or anything like that go ahead and switch over to your patch holder run patches in your barrel until they show that they are clean once you've done that go ahead and throw on the bore mop and actually just run the bore mop a few times through each section of your cylinder. This one happens to be a five shot, so run it through all five uh, slots. And if you have anything bigger than that, I've seen six and eight shot revolvers, go ahead and just clean all those, make sure that they're good to go. Once you've done that, then go over the entire gun with a good brush. This one here, we happen to have a nylon brush. Break up any grime that's on the outside of the gun. And once you've done that, go ahead, wipe the gun down uh, make sure that all of that grime comes off and if you see any extras go ahead and take your q-tips and get into those small hard to reach areas that the brush can't get or that your finger can't get into with the rag on top of that once you've wiped down the entire gun gotten rid of most of the excess cleaning solvent and any dirt and grime that was on the gun you're going to go ahead and take a good lubricant and apply it in for me three critical areas for a revolver you're going to use it on the pin where your cylinder rotates you're going to use it what also well, i guess this is another component but it goes with the pin this is also your discharge so make sure that that is properly lubricated usually when you do the pin if you hold the gun upside down it allows the oil to travel through so that way this will get lubricated as well next you're going to do the hammer and the trigger. Those are typically the most common two. The other one to do, uh, all depending on what kind of gun you have for a uh, cylinder release, is oil the cylinder release. Make sure that that is proper, moves properly so that way you can get the cylinder in and out with no issues. But that's pretty much it. Once the gun's lubricated, she's ready to go back in the holster, be loaded up, ready to go for your next carry or just for your next range day. And if you guys want to stay and watch an in-depth cleaning on this entire gun, stay tuned. There's a full cleaning for the remainder of this video. And then, of course, just the usual credits. If you guys like the quick walkthrough, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. If you want to know anything more about it, drop some comments. Uh, if there's anything I forgot that maybe you just want to have uh, an idea on. And be sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next up. Remember, be safe, shoot straight, have fun. See ya.